Today we're going to show you how to attach a lobster clasp to a link chain. The only tools you need are just two flat nose pliers. There's one and two. So let's get to it. Use your flat nose plier to get a good grip of the jump ring. Uh, that's really the most important step. Get a good grip. Uh, it makes your life so much easier. And grab the other side of the jump ring with your other plier. Gently bend one side of the jump ring forward towards you and the other side away from you towards the ground. Don't open the jump ring outward toward your side or it won't close properly. Now we just put the chain on and to close it we bend the jump ring the opposite way that we opened it. We're going to close it and just make sure that there's no space or opening for the chain to slip out. Okay, So there's no gap and it looks good. That's it. Easy, right? Okay, let's, let's do the other side. This jump ring is a bit smaller, so it might be tricky at first, but the technique is still the same. Since we're not going to solder these jump rings, I'm using a large closed jump ring on the side opposite the lobster and attaching it to the chain with a small thick jump ring. Notice how much thicker this one is. The thicker the jump ring, the stronger it'll be. So grab each side of the jump ring and open it the same way we did the first time around. I'll just show you that from the side. Now put the chain on. Okay. Chain on. And then the large closed jump ring. Okay. I'm just going to get a better grip here. It's a lot easier if you have a good grip to start. Almost. Okay. Just like the first time around. Okay, close it tightly like this. Uh, again, make sure there's no space, no gap. And uh, that's all there is to it. Alright, so now we have both ends, and that's it. Your chain's ready to go as a brand new lobster class. No soldering necessary.